Okay, I just love when I get further confirmation from um, other creators, um, readings, snippets, someone says something. You know, sometimes I don't think it's always so um, mystical and deep where, you know, you hear some thundering voice from the clouds giving you your answer. You know, sometimes it's going to come in ways where it's like, you're going to know that it's as clear as day, but it's just going to not be in the form that you anticipated the answer coming to you. So just be, keep an open mind. Um, two things um, about the energy of really just embracing singlehoodness. And I know that kind of contradicts, seems like it contradicts some of the things that I have mentioned in other, other videos of, you know, like if it is your desire to, um, remarry or reconnect with someone, um, for just the sake of, um, family, community, um, the future, how your children see, um, and view love and life and all that. And that's, that's all great and beautiful, but until you can truly at your core know that you are whole and complete and enough, it's almost like it doesn't matter how, what you say you want or what you think you feel, it's imbalanced. And so really being at peace with and, and loving, truly loving your life alone, truly loving yourself, truly giving yourself all of what you think you need from another person, especially a romantic partner. Let's also stress that you can have love languages given and reciprocated and then not be a romantic partner. And it can still be just as fulfilling and everything that you need it to be. And so if you're feeling this energy of like maybe thinking, you know, should you go backwards or reconsider some things, first know and ask, first know at your core, uh, what is your overall destination? Are they headed in the same direction? What was the reason of the break? What was the reason of, you know, them maybe breaking up from an ex or whatever, whatever. Take all those things in consideration because those may play a role in you deciding if you want that to be a part of your story. Because remember, you're the leading role. You're, you're the leading actress in this. So it has to be all about you. If you're not the star and if it doesn't feel good and if it doesn't have a, a happy, triumphant ending and you're not sure of where he's going to take your, your storyline, and if he's going to change your plot, it may not be the best thing. So two memes that, I think this is a meme or a little, um, I'll just say Instagram post. Um, sp sp uh, Spirit Daughter. I really like them and their content. So you can still come away from something and be grateful. They say, grateful for the times I felt held. Grateful for the times I felt seen and grateful for the times I felt loved. It might have been real. It might have been authentic. It might have been everything and more. But keyword, past sense, felt. And the second one is, and I laughed at this because, you know, it's something about distance that it can either really show you at your core where you maybe had some things that like, huh? Or it can make the heart grow fonder. So this this one says, once she gets used to not talking to you, you're absolutely effed. <laughs> like, it's a wrap. And I think that that showed, that was like further confirmation for me and my decision making. Because, you know, I had spent a lot of time reworking my free time, um, my connection and all this stuff. And I was okay. You can, you can feel like, damn, I was losing myself. And that is the natural progression of any relationship. If there, if he's not including you in his life, that's a red flag anyway. But when you get to the point where you're like, I, I'm back to me, not that it doesn't, you know, hurt a little bit, not that it wasn't a little bit of an adjustment, but once you get back in this, in the saddle of things, once you get back in the driver's seat, because you're letting a man drive the car and you feel safe, you, you know, but once you've got your own GPS back on, you're like, I'm not making any new terms. 
I, I said terms, turns. I'm not, I, I've just throw, drove 300 miles in this direction. That took time, effort, and focus for me to go backwards and be unsure if all the lights are on and you are home. I don't know. Because what was the reason that made me get in my car and drive away? Did you push me away? Did I feel like I needed that time and space? Think about all that before. Like my auntie said, you get so desperate to be with someone because of all of the bells and whistles and glitter of a union with you and your babies in tow that you lose sight of where you really need to be. And sometimes that where you need to be is by your damn self. And that's okay. Peace. Bye.